Today, we're going to talk about viewing the world through the lens of narcissism. Perhaps you grew up in a narcissistic family. Perhaps you had a relationship with a narcissistic individual and it changed you. And from that point forward, you saw the world differently. Perhaps your eyes became opened to other areas such as relationships with friends, maybe even the office environment. Maybe it was a church endeavor, right? So circumstantially, things became different in your life after your eyes were opened to the spirit of narcissism. Today, we're going to talk about it. Meredith Miller, who is a leading expert in the field of narcissism and narcissistic abuse, and who has been fundamentally one of the best resources and who has aided my own healing and growth, made a very interesting comment regarding narcissism, one to which I will never forget and agree with firsthand. She said, you can never go back. What this means is that once you see narcissism from a local, interpersonal level, then even onto a much larger scale, even through corporate America, perhaps even on a global level, there really is no turning point as to how far it can go. But she said, you cannot undo what you have seen. And I agree with it 100%. You see, the wake up is transformative. It changes you. You may have read an article that I wrote recently on Medium, how it all began, right? I woke up to narcissism. I saw what I never saw before, and yet I was exposed to it for decades. How is it possible something so deceptive, so relational, so perfect can remain hidden for so long? Then I remembered a time when I grew up in a similar environment. I was the black sheep of the family. I was a scapegoat and I woke up and I saw the connection between growing up in a narcissistic family environment to then even going on to have a relationship with somebody who carries traits of narcissism later on in adult life. Then corporate America. I saw the same patterns exist within the system. Perhaps you're seeing it too. So what has happened after all of these events? So these are some things that can occur after we've had our wake up moment and we go through a healing process and we are different and we've changed. Before we get into the details, I want to share about Athletic Greens because I'm so thankful for it. I started to take AG1 because I was looking for something to help me boost my nutrition and energy in my life than what my current diet provided. I needed a boost beyond my standard normal diet. I was also looking for something green. As I've read, and you probably have too, the impact of eating green foods. Now, I've been taking it four weeks. I absolutely love it. It has a mild tropical taste, which I look forward to each morning. But what is AG1? With one scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, aging, all of these things. I take it in the morning first thing and it gets me going. What I like about it is that it's lifestyle friendly, works with any diet. I can take it with me when I travel. It's paleo, keto, vegan, gluten-free, and I can easily incorporate it into my daily routine. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills or supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash emerging. Again, it's athleticgreens.com slash emerging to take ownership of your health and to pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Some of the things that may occur are, we may not take people at face value anymore. We may question people, motives, perceived motives. We question what people say versus what they do. We may be more hesitant in relationships. We may have more doubt. 
than ever before. We may also learn to trust our gut and our intuition. We may listen to our own body and what it's trying to tell us, the warning signals which we may have ignored years prior. The level of trust with other people may be lower. I remember a time when I trusted people instinctively. I no longer do. So the things that can occur to us are not necessarily bad. They are learning events, which I would never go back to the way I was before. I would never go back to being in the fog, and I'm sure you would agree, right? We learn, we grow, we heal, and we recover. This has been an episode of the Moving Forward with Hope podcast. I'm Lynn, your host, and I'll see you in the next episode.